Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake One Exotics and today I've got some jobs on. So I've got to do some work with the fishes. So last week we did half the tanks of water changes. So I've got to do the other half today. So it's going to be some fun for me. Uh, we can go around, we've got to do some more checks on the animals. I didn't get to do the handling yesterday, so it'd be nice to try and do that today. So we're trying to do a little bit of handling, see how we get on. We've got to do some feeding and just checking everybody's okay and get ready for snake feeding day tomorrow. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring that bell for me. And you never know, we might have some crazy happen like yesterday. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start this end and work our way along. Um, because I don't, I need to definitely do this one because I don't know, the, they're all at the top being very lethargic and I had a, the, uh, we had a lot of the new ones pass on so uh, we had a big die off so I don't know if it was the fish or something going on with that tank so nothing's gone on with these ones so uh, it shouldn't be nothing extremely bad but uh, we need to do a nice little water change on that test the water just to see what's going on um, and everyone else is just a scheduled water change all the other tanks are doing absolutely lovely. We haven't had any other dies off. Um, so that's really, really good. Um, we're going to try and feed the Oscars today. We've got to feed the axolotl today. And we'll feed some of the other fish as well today. I think we'll start with a fishy montage. Getting all the water changes out the way. And we can start with some of the more funner jobs. Inside stopped working and trying to fix it, I broke it. So, I don't know. Get ourselves a new one. And we'll be ready to go. New siphon, and it still didn't work. So, I don't know. So, I had to do, I did the old sucking trick. Didn't really like doing that, but. We'd rather not, but we had to. So all these are now done. All we've got to do now is top them back up and treat them with a uh, dechlorinator. So they're all filled up. They're all done. All nice and clean. Perfect mundo. So now we get to go around and do some stuff with the animals. We've got to do a little bit of handling with the red tail boa. Uh, only a tiny bit because remember it's feeding day tomorrow so we have to be careful but he is sold now so I have promised to do a little bit more handling with him um, we may try and uh, do some more handling with some of the other ones maybe some of the uh, bearded dragons and I'm considering doing something with the um, spiny tailed iguana because he seems quite settled now so um, we might do a little bit of handling with him and see what he thinks. Okie dokie then, so we can do a little bit of a handling with the uh, red tail boa, or a uh, common boa, or boa constrictor. So they've got loads of names. Uh, so we've got to get her out now, long tank. We're not going to go too mad because it is feeding day tomorrow. she is absolutely stunning she is so she's a boa constrictor so she's a non-venomous snake so uh, when she catches her food she bites it wraps around it and then tightens it all up until it can't breathe anymore and then she eats it when she passed away uh, a venomous snake would bite let go let it run off and let it pass away from the poison and then they would sniff it out find out where it went and then eat it once it's passed away 
So uh, these like to fight and hang on to the animal when a venomous one would bite and let go and then just hunt it down afterwards. Uh, they're found in South America and they're found in some of the uh, islands in the Caribbean as well. So there they are, really, really nice, really good in the pet trade. Uh, there's there's uh, quite a few different morphs and stuff going around, uh, but there was a big disease that went through them a couple of years ago and 90% of collections and stuff like that all had to be euthanized. So uh, these, these are all from the new batches, from the new season of, of uh, the new ones without this disease. So, uh, absolutely stunning he is. Doing really well, you done? Yes, you were. Yes, you were. Didn't get bit on the nose then. Woo. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Uh, so they get, they do get quite big though. So the females get a lot bigger than the males because they've got a lot more internally going on. So uh, the females, they'll get to about three meters on the big side, which is about 10 feet. Um, the males don't get as big they'll get to between about 1.3 to 2.4 meters, which is about eight feet. Uh, they, they will eat good sized food then and would need a good size enclosure. Um, in the pet trade, I think it's three quarters of the snake has got to be tank. So if the, ta if the snake's six foot, it's got to have a four foot tank at least. At least three quarters of the tank, the snake, sorry, has got to be able to stretch out so you can get actually it doesn't get deformities and stuff like that. But you're absolutely lovely, aren't you? Yes, she is. They grow. They do live a long time as well. So it's about 25 to 30 years. So it's not like you can have it for a little bit. You need to be look into it and be prepared because it's like a kid. You ain't going to get rid of it for 30 years. So <laughs> at least with your kids, you can try and get rid of them after 18. But now you're stuck with this one for about 25 to 30 years. You don't want them getting too fat though. There's a lot of people that tend to overfeed them. Well, when they're, when they're babies, like this, you feed them once a week. But then once they get to a good size adult, you really, really go down on the feeding. You'd be on, some of them go down to once a month, to, depending on the size of the food item as well. If it's a really big food item, then they're not going to eat for ages afterwards. But they're so nice. Such detail. Absolutely stunning. I love the tail. The crispness of the colours. You've got the reds, the whites, the blacks. Just look at it. Look at that, how rich it is. Absolutely stunning. Really, really beautiful. So uh, I think that'll be it now. I don't want to hang around for too much. So I don't want to wind her up because she's got um, feeding day tomorrow. But I can show you, we've been doing the head timing. So remember, head time is under the chin first, so we can touch her under the chin and she's not bothered. Then we go on top. So we try touching the top. Yep, she's not bothered by that. Then we go for the pin. We've got it now. And we don't push down. See how she can just slide out when she wants to? That's because we literally we're just getting her used to being touched. It's not restraining or uh, restricting her in any way. It's just getting her desensitized to touching. So you can touch her on the head and she doesn't get scared, doesn't think you're gonna hurt her. So do it again. And she just slides straight back out. We could actually do the, the actual pin. So that's what a vet would do or something like that. Or they'd go from behind the head like this. So you'd have it either side and on the top. Sometimes they go from underneath as well. Like so. So, but we won't mess with a lot up because we don't need to because she's really nice and tame. Isn't my lovely? Yes, you are. So we'll put her back in there now and we'll see if we can get somebody else out. So I don't know how this is going to go, but I want to try and get the black spiny tail iguana out. Um, you can see I've jacketed it up because his claws are like razor blades. But I've been doing a little bit of research on him and he's like the most coolest lizard that I've ever had in the shop. So some of the stuff is just next level. So I'm going to try my best to try and get him out so you can have a look at him while we talk about him. Um, but I want to keep my arms and I want to keep my fingers so 
See how we get on. Can you see me? Can you? I'll get a bit lower. There you go. You might just be able to see me get him in. Probably going to kick off. So I've got his sleeves. Bit wiggly. I'll get, I've got a plan. So I'm grabbing, he's slipping off me. So I'm hoping I've got a little bit of a rag. He might grab onto the rag so I can get him in. Calm down, mate. Calm down. You're okay. You're okay. There we go. It's okay. So this is the spiny-tailed iguana. This is the coolest lizard I've ever had in the shop. Well, sort of. The uh, the uh, sail fin does win a little bit. Um, just look how stunning he is. Really, really nice. Rather a bit of a stop, we had a mad rush of customers. Of course, as soon as I get the one lizard out, which is a bit of a bit high strong, we had a mad rush of customers. So that's putting him back, so I've got him back out. He's doing really well now. I had him out for a while where I had the customers in, just in my hand, calming him down, and he has chilled out a lot more. So he's got used to me now. Let me just give him little strokes. Um, so their nickname is the Wish Willy. Don't know why. I don't know why, I do my research, that's what it said, Wish Willy, I don't know why they're called a Wish Willy, but I don't know, but Black Blacktail Spiny Iguana is what we're going to be calling them. Uh, they're found in Mexico and uh, Central America, they're normally in hot dry places, but they do, they are found in the damper foresty parts as well, uh, and this, this is one of the coolest facts about him, he's the fastest lizard on the planet fastest he can run 21 miles an hour so he's the running at flat out running he's the fastest lizard on the planet how sick is that that is so cool he's he rapid yes you are he's rapid don't you run ah told you he's fast <laughs> he's knocked open over i've got to set it all back up well, they say never work with kids and animals. I've always made a mess of my hand. So, they are uh, omnivorous. Omnivorous? 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 Which means they, uh, they eat the full range of stuff like we do. We're omnivorous. I can't say the word. I'll put the word up there. It means that we eat the full range of meat and veg and all that stuff, which is the same as him. He'd eat um, eggs, he'd eat insects, he'd eat... Um, little small mammals, he'd eat veg and all stuff like that as well. Extremely aggressive, like extremely. They will fight another one of these two to the death. They do not like each other, they only ever meet for mating, the rest of the time it's fighting. So, um, you're okay, ain't you? They aren't on the endangered list yet, but they are getting close because they, uh, they're getting they're not getting much habitat loss, but they are getting quite a bit of hunting. So people hunt the eggs for food, and they hunt them for food, because they're quite a delicacy in different places. We had more customers, but I kept them out the whole time. And he's been such a good boy. He's been such a good boy. Yes, he has. He's calmed down loads. He has made a mess of my hand now. Took some chunks out of it, because he's got sharp claws. But we've got one more fact. We've got to know how long he grows, and no, two more facts, how big he grows, and how long he lives for. So he grows to about three to four foot. So, something like that, easy. Uh, and then they live for about 15 to 25 years. So, 
Absolutely stunning lizards. Don't you attack the camera again. No, good boy. Look at the markings. Look how beautiful he is. His tail. Such a stunning lizard. I'm gonna put him back now before he kicks off again. What a good boy doing here. He's got a little neck flip. Come on, calm down just for a sec. We need. He's got a neck flip. He's got a neck flip. <laughs> Oh, that's so silly, I know. We'll put him back, and then uh, I'll see how much longer I've got left. Forever home time for Mr. Clown Royal Python. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's going into shed. He's going into shed. He's getting nice blue eyes. Yeah, definitely going into shed. So we've got a nice little transport box for him. There you go, sir. You can sit in there. And he gets to go for his forever home. So you saw, we've just had the uh, Mr. Clown Royal collected, gone to his forever home now. So it means we've got less to feed for tomorrow. So we have to get some snakes in. I'm really angry, we have to get some snakes. Uh, but we're gonna have a little hold of the Berber skink now. So I'm gonna get him out, I'll have a little chat about him, and then um, see how we get on. So they are a really good pet. They, they, even when they're wild, they are still quite tame. Because um, he would have been wild caught and then uh, kept for a little bit in captivity. And I'd be surprised if they'd have done much handling with him because the, the suppliers, they can have that many animals there. So uh, he's really nice, he's really placid, he's really chilled out. And this one is stunning. I mean, the oranges on him are so bright and vibrant. I mean, the ones on his cheek, they're just so nice. Doesn't really pick it up on the cameras, but it is the darkest orange I've ever seen on one of them. Absolutely stunning. You are, aren't you, mate? You're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So they live for about 10 to 15 years, quite a long lifespan. And they get to about 16 inches, or uh, I mean, it's about uh, 400 mil. I'm not sure. I'm trying to get different measurements for different people in different places. Um, Extremely friendly lizard, really good first ones, uh, really placid. Um, <coughs> they eat the insects, they'll eat veg as well. They live in Central Asia, uh, Western Asia, North Africa and Egypt. Really, really nice little lizards. I think they're really cool. They've got like the slow worm kind of skin to it sort of thing, really nice, almost like a snake scale in a way, because they all interlock. Don't they buddy, they all interlock. It's like he's got his own little armor. Such a really, really nice lizard. We've seen him feeding yesterday as well, which is really good. He's having a little bit of an explore at the moment. Where's he going? He's licking, he's licking. What you looking for? What's he tasting? Anything that tastes nice? Anything tastes nice? No? So I'll put him back and we go around, we go feed some of the fishes now. We've got to feed the wolf fish and the puffers and stuff like that. So we feed them now and then we'll probably call it a day there. We've had a lot on today, we have. Haven't we boys? Yes, we have. We've had a lot on today. Before we do the fishes, we quickly hydrate. Product placement, you never know. Come on, put Dust Pepper. Come on, give us a sponsor. Oh, so, we've had our refreshment, so we're ready to go. So let's go feed some fishes. And everybody, so it's wolf fish time. So we can see if we can get him to come up and proper snatch it off us, see if we can have a get off. Here he is. Whoa! Yes, boy. He does not mess about. I've got another hour for you. Oh, he got it. He 
and squeezing it in. He's a good lad. He's having a proper munch. Behind the rock though, hiding. We'll leave him to it. He's had that now and we'll go feed somebody else. You want a fishy? Oh yes he does. Off he goes. Yummy, yummy, yummy fishy. I've got Mr. Puffer now. I've got him a cockle and I've got him some fishes. So I don't know what he's gonna do. He may not, he may he may have some, so we're, we're gonna try him on both. See how we get off. Everybody, we still got five fishes. One, two, three, four. Has he managed to catch one? Oh no, there's five. No, nope, still too slow. Still too slow. What's this? That's yummy food. You meant to love cockles. Mm -hmm. What about a fish? It's swimming, it's swimming. He's got it. Yay! You gotta pretend it's a fishy though. Don't you go after that of a little fishy? You got a big one to eat. You only had a couple of bites. You can have some of the cockle. And we'll leave him there and we'll see if he tries to have some of the cockle. So I'll leave him to it. And hopefully he has some of the cockle. Do you want some of the fish again? Come on, try the fish again. No. Yeah. No, you're not too keen. So we go, we give the rest to uh, Snappy. Snappy, dearest. Wow. Nearly. He got it. Another one. No, not my hand. There we go. Fishy. Let me. I've got another fishy. Whee. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. Hey, then, everybody, I'm afraid that's all the time I've got for today. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Ring that bell for me. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, she lives up there. And if you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. And if you want to subscribe, if you want to uh, contribute towards the channel, help support me, the sharp and the reptiles and the rescues, there's a link in the description below. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.